Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and in the previous video what we saw is we coded a simple password checker. We also were introduced to the if else statement and what we're going to do right now is we're going to see what the if else statement can do once we have actually multiple statements that we want to specify. We're also going to write a simple example to demonstrate that thing. So if else statement has something called else if which you can add in between the if and in between the else statement. So I mean in between those two. There can be as many else if statements as you'd like or as many as you need and then you can code them into your program. So let us see how that will work. Open up your idle right here. We're going to open a new file. Let us right away save it as thirdprogram.py. So save as to the desktop thirdprogram.py and press here enter. And right now we are going to code this simple program right here. Or let me just, there's no need to actually enlarge this. Let us code it like this. So let's think about it. So first of all, let us do something like this. Uh, inputted number, so inputted underscore number will be our actual variable that will store a number that the user will specify in the program itself. So once they run the program, we want to use the input function and we want to prompt the user to specify any number they like. So specify, oops, specify any number you want. This will get prompted to the actual user. Uh, we can then print the number if we want to. So input it underscore number. And right now, right here, we are going to get into the else if statement. So first of all, we want to check if, so if input a number underscore number is bigger than zero. So simply just specify it like this. What we want to print is print Okay, here it is. Inputted number. Oops. And then we can concat the string. So plus the string of inputted number. And then plus another string, which will be, for example, is smaller or is bigger, pardon me, is bigger than zero. Let's also add a space right here so we don't have actually concat the string right one behind another one. So basically what we are printing right here is if inputted number is bigger than zero, we're basically are going to print inputted number plus the string of the inputted number, which will just transform this integer value right here to be a string. So first of all, before we actually convert it, let us type it right here to be an integer. So inputted number is going to be equal to integer of the inputted inputted underscore number. Just in case, we're only going to use the string value of it in the print statements and we're going to print inputted number, then the inputted number string is bigger than zero. And then we want to type here else for the second statement. So else it is smaller than zero, of course. So else print input the number. Basically we want to do the same thing. So plus string of the inputted number itself. So input the number. Close the brackets plus and then we want to write right here is smaller uh, than zero. Right here, we do not need, or we can use these actual two dots. So let me just add it right here as well. But you might notice what happens if the user types zero. So let us actually take a look before we actually code the rest of the program. What would happen if user specifies zero? So run module right here, save it, uh, specify any number you want. Let's first of all check it whether it works for the numbers greater or lesser than zero. So three. 
we, we print out the number itself, so right here, and we get input at number 3 is bigger than 0, which is correct. Now let's try it with a different number, so run minus 3. Input at number minus 3 is smaller than 0, so our program works perfectly in these two cases. But we also have a third case where we actually can run the program and the user can specify simply 0. And it says right here, input at number 0 is smaller than 0. Now the reason why it says this is because it is in the else statement, so what this program basically did is it checked whether 0 is greater than 0, then it will print this. In any other case, in basically any other case, it doesn't have to be the case where the actual uh, number is smaller than 0, it also can be equal to 0, as in our case, it will print the input number is smaller than 0. But we also want to add an else if statement in between, which we can add just like this. So else if, simply just specify L if, it is shortened for else if, then two dots, or basically not two dots, you want to specify the statement. So else if inputted underscore number equals equals oops, to 0, then we want to print just go right here and print print inputted number and then plus the actual string of that number string of the input number and then plus open single quotes uh, is equal to zero Basically, this should be the entire program. Let us see how this will work. So, we added another else if statement that will check if the inputted number is equal to zero. So, let us save this first of all. So, save and then run it right here and specify any number you want. We specify zero and you can see inputted number zero is equal to zero. You need to actually do it like this if you don't want to. You can basically just simply delete this right here. And for your own needs, if you, for example, wanted to do something like this, you can also use a simple if-else statement, but also add right here uh, equal sign, so greater or equal to zero, then print inputted number plus string inputted number is bigger than zero or, or equal to zero. Let me just move this so we can see the entire program. And then you can save this right here, and you can run it like this as well. Uh, basically, you will not have an else if statement. What you will do is you will simply print out once the number is greater or equal to zero, you will print input the number is bigger than zero or equal to zero, which really doesn't make any sense. The previous version is a lot better, but if you need something like this in for any case you want, you can do it. So let us run it, specify minus two, Inputted number is smaller than zero. Let us run it once again. So run module, then let's specify three is bigger or equal to zero. And also once we actually specify zero, it should print out the same thing as we can see right here. So the inputted number zero is bigger than zero or equal to zero, which is actually kind of correct. It is not bigger than zero, but it is however equal to zero. So that would be a simple example of the else if statement. Uh, we covered fully the if statement with the if else and with the else if statements. So that part is finished. What we are going to do in the next video is we are going to cover the while loop. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I see you in the next lecture. Bye.